Okay, this is a quick and dirty video on how we're doing SMPTE time code on Nomad. You can see we're here on EOS version 3.2.7.10 beta, um, but this has been working in all the 3.2 versions and before. I'll just minimize this screen really quickly. And what we're using on this computer is a combination of a couple pieces of tech to get it in. So virtual sound card here, Dante virtual sound card, is a way to get audio in. So we're passing audio over the network. The audio is coming from an Ableton computer, which is sending out time code. That time code is LTC Simpty. It comes in over Dante, over the wire, over the wire, wired network into the computer, comes in via this interface. You could also just have like a regular audio interface. Um, this is just one of several ways to get audio into the computer. And then from there, I'll minimize that. The next thing we have is this piece of software called Show Cockpit. And I've just got a simple LTC to MIDI timecode. So we take LTC input in, and I'll click on that. And you can see the configuration there. So we're bringing it in via Dante at 30 frames and 20 or 48 K Hertz, which is matching how it's being sent over Dante and the source LTC file. We're bringing in channel one. We freewheel for 500 milliseconds. That way if it drops off, it keeps playing for 500. That gets rid of any like dropped frames and things keep playing. And uh, so over there, I'll turn that back on. And then from there, we route that to uh, MTC output. And I'll turn that off so you can see there. So we're outputting on this loop MIDI device, which you can download for free. It runs on the computer. Uh, and again, outputting at 30 frames we have a free wheel time there as well. And so those are just patched together. And this actually is another patch that can send it out to a different MIDI time code output, but that's not necessary in our setup. Uh, and then what I'll do is open up the loop MIDI so you can see how that is configured. And so you see that right here, and you simply see we've got a single interface that's called loop MIDI port. And there's all the data frames that have gone in and out. And all this is is like virtually taking a MIDI cable going out the out and back in um, on the same device. So we have that. And then now when I open up EOS Nomad, you'll see here when I hit displays and I go to setup and your settings here. You can see here we've got MIDI enabled, MIDI timecode is enabled. Um, so we've got that set there. And then under devices, under, let's see, show control here. You can see show control here. You can see there's my loop MIDI port and I've got RX is enabled and I've disabled all the others. Um, I've used touch OSC bridge and there's some other things here, but what we're using here is just the loop MIDI port and it's enabled and the time court source is one. And then let me go into live here. And uh, I've got a stream deck down here that's connected to Ableton so I can start and play audio files. So when I hit one, this, you can hear it. Two, and we see time codes intro, rolling up there. Two. And uh, that's exactly how it works. Uh, and if you have questions, let me know.